Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to take you guys along with me in a day in the life type video. I have my, what is this, 27 week appointment. I'm getting my glucose test, the, a bunch of shots and all that kind of stuff. All the fun, fun things in that appointment. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. That isn't until 2 p.m. and change locations, the little one. At that glucose appointment today, they said to just eat as normal, but it's not the time to go drink a sweet tea or a coffee on the way to the doctors. So I know a lot of people fast today for their glucose appointment. I'm not gonna fast. I'll share with you guys kind of what I'm eating. If I pass, I get a milkshake. That's kind of my reward. But yeah, I figured I'll take you guys along with me. It is Jackson's last day of summer camp as well until school. So yeah, I plan on getting a lot done. So let's get into the day. So I've taken my vitamins for the morning, the Nature Made Prenatal Multi Plus DHA. I also get an Energy B12, and then these are the Bayer Low Dose Aspirin. So I've had these. I'm gonna definitely be constantly drinking water today. And because it's 8.30 in the morning, I'm gonna have one of these light and fit Greek strawberry cheesecake yogurts. And I have two hard boiled eggs. I put some everything but the bagel seasoning on them. And then I plan on this afternoon around like 11ish. My appointment again is at two to make some scrambled eggs with some peppers in it for lunch. Nothing like car issues in the morning, but I had on like alerts on my car for a low tire, low pressure tire. So I needed air in it. So luckily my dad was very close to where I was going to be to drop Jackson off for summer camp. So he came and kind of helped walk me through how to do it. Cause last time I did it, it was kind of like complicated, but here at Sheets, they make it so easy and it's free. So just filled up airing my tires, headed back home, probably gonna do some laundry. Back home, I am on my unmade bed, but I wanted to share with you guys a small like Target Amazon haul. I have a couple things I need to try on, so I'm excited to share them with you guys. But at Target, if you are expecting the Isabel maternity clothes for 20% off, so I did grab a pair of shorts, like athletic shorts. So I'm really excited to try these on. I have a pair from Amazon that I wear now and I pretty much wear them as often as they're clean, but the jean shorts that I have just are a little bit too tight. So I liked that this was a little bit more flowy and still has pockets. So I'm gonna try this out. I got a size medium. If you haven't seen my battle series here on my channel, I compare eyeliners and see kind of which eyeliners are best. So the next one I wanted to try up against the Stila was the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. So this is what that eyeliner looks like. It says it's waterproof, 16 hours, cry proof, humidity proof, smudge proof. I got blackest black, so we'll try that. And then Amazon, I got a new Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. It is by far my favorite. Today, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Liner on. And I'm just, I'm gonna declutter it. This is the second day in a row and I just don't like how it applies onto the eyes. It just doesn't give a nice smooth line. So I'm not about that life. Another thing I picked up from Amazon is the sequel to a good girl's guide to a murder. So I got good girl, bad blood, cause I'm almost done with that book. And then I have a dress here I wanted to try out. Um, I believe this is a non-maternity dress that is kind of like bump friendly. So I'm gonna try this on, see how it works and the shorts on and then figure out if I wanna return them or not. But then what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna just put Manifest on on my phone and I have a ton of laundry, make my bed, that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna show me like folding, making my laundry. I feel like the folding part in Clean With Me videos are like kind of the boring parts. So yeah, just trust me, I'll show you guys kind of like the before hot mess. And then I'm gonna just work on it and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. So quick like outfit of the day. These I believe is Target and Amazon. This is just kind of a Target maternity shirt. And then these are the Amazon shorts I was talking to you guys about. So I feel like they're a little bit short. They're really comfortable though. They do have like the belly band and stuff going on. But yeah, I've just kind of been living in this outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on those shorts with the shirt and see how I like it. These are medium as well from Amazon. So here are the black shorts 
from Target and I definitely think they're a little bit longer. They're a little bit stiffer, but there's still kind of plenty of room. They're not as tight like around here as like my jeans are. And then the band itself is a little bit tighter or more supportive than the other one. So I don't know, maybe I needed a large in these. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I'll have to do the sit test. And then this is the dress from Amazon. I think it's really pretty. I like that it's kind of like a ruched fitted all the way around. And then it definitely gives room for the bump. It's not that short, but kind of a little bit short, but let me know what you think of this dress. I think I'm going to keep it though. I need kind of more repertoire for like baby showers, birthday party, church, things like that. So yeah, I think this is nice and I think it'll be nice too once I'm not pregnant anymore too. But yep. And then for the shorts, I did the sit test. I think I probably need a large in that, so I'm gonna just return it and not worry about it, but this is really pretty. I think it's perfect for a baby shower. And just like that, it is 11 o'clock. Man, time flew, but I did go ahead and work in Maddie's closet. There was a bin of like clothes and some stuff in there, so I started a load of laundry of her clothes with our clothes. We used the Tide Free and Gentle, like fr fragrance-free wash, and then I did fold quite a bit of laundry, but yeah. And then I started sorting out like into a bin, which is like over there of like 18 months up. And those I'm not washing, but anything that I have baby related that is 12 months and under I'm washing and I'm starting to put into the drawers. So I have drawer organizers coming more of them today. I can show you guys real quick kind of what the drawer organization looks like right now in her room. So this is a quick overview of her room right now. Yes, Jackson is playing in here, but in her dresser right now, I have started washing some things that I mentioned. So socks, hats, mittens, and that's like a teething mitten. Then in here, I just have bibs. I'm gonna put um, burp cloths too. I gotta find where all those burp cloths are. There's nothing in there. And then this is what I've been working on. I'm so excited. So these are all preemie outfits. I hope she is big enough that she does not have to wear these. But I do have some preemie outfits from Jackson. And then these are all newborn PJs. And these are all hand-me-down clothes from Jackson as well. Because he, like I said, was a preemie. So anything that was kind of gender neutral and especially pajamas I kind of keep that so these are pajamas these are newborn outfits right there not not a lot of newborn outfits um, and then we have zero to three pajamas so as you can see I definitely for the first three months keep my little ones in pajamas and I'll probably continue to do that with her but yeah, these drawer organizers will be coming today and then I've been using my label maker too to just kind of make it easier and then I brought down this basket. And this basket looks like a lot of swaddles, some baby carriers, some things for like play area, things like that. I don't think I have anything in there. And then in here, I started washing uh, like car seat covers or like shopping cart covers. So there's two of them in there. Getting into her closet, these are all hand-me-down outfits. Well, majority of them. There are some kind of girlier stuff that I bought. And I have them organized by size. So you can see these are the sizes. And then if there's like any big like outfit, winter outfits, I have been hanging those up as well. So these are kind of jackets and outfits kind of hung up by size already. Some swaddles need to organize by size. But once I start, I'll probably continue working on zero to three and then three to six and put those in the bottom drawers. I'll switch these to like larger swaddles and stuff like that. But yeah, there was a giant bin right here of clothes I have fully washed. So I'm really excited about that. One of the things I need to make sure to try and do very soon is go through all of our bottles and figure out what nipples and bottles we still really need for this little one. I do plan on breastfeeding, but with having a toddler already, I'm okay supplementing with formula as well as we'll see how the pumping game goes this time. 
So I need to figure out bottle wise what nipples I need and everything like that. So like I mentioned, I have my glucose appointment here in like three hours, but I am hungry. Like being 27 weeks pregnant, it is 11 o'clock, I'm hungry. So I'm gonna just make two scrambled eggs with some peppers and hopefully everything will be fine with that. I tend to put like a lot of cheese and Texas pea and stuff on it, but I'll probably just do a sprinkle of salt on it this time. But girls gotta eat. Don't know what's for dinner tonight. We'll figure it out together, but definitely making some scrambled eggs today. So we're officially in front of the doctor's office. I fed Jackson, picked him up from summer camp. Now it is my turn to have that fun appointment. I did pack like a granola bar. I did pack some goldfish and stuff for after. Um, they take my blood and I'm officially done if I just want to eat something. I do plan on going to Chick-fil-A after and getting a milkshake if I passed or if they don't have the results yet and I get to go home, I'm gonna have a milkshake because I'm hungry and I want a milkshake. Also downloaded a couple episodes of Manifest on my phone. Have my Beats Pro headphones so I can just kind of watch that and while I wait to get my blood drawn and all that kind of stuff. I'd be surprised if I have gestational diabetes. I was a lot more puffier and a lot more big, I guess you can say, and like swollen with Jackson around this time. So I don't think I am with this pregnancy, but I mean, I'll keep you guys updated. So I am officially done with that appointment. It really wasn't that bad. I had the orange drink, took my blood pressure. Blood pressure was 120 something over something. It was good, especially around this time. Last pregnancy is when I was getting kind of higher blood pressure. I never really got preclampsia or like diagnosed high blood pressure. It was just kind of always on the cusp. Um, I got my Tdap shot, which is right here. And then waited the hour and got my blood drawn. So the Makina shots are not there yet, which I knew I've been dealing with a whole lot of crap from them. I think they're trying to ship out eight doses and I'm stopping at eight doses. So once I get it, it will be about, I'll take it for eight weeks straight and I'll be about at 34 weeks and then I'm gonna stop it. I talked to my doctor about it just now and she said that she definitely isn't worried about me continuing to try and take it for those last four weeks to just stop it then. So that's what we're gonna do. So fingers crossed, I can get to the shot sometime tomorrow or I'll pick it up Friday when I am back in this area. Um, also the offices have been like super busy. A lot of people are pregnant right now and they're getting booked up pretty fast. Um, so they scheduled my next three appointments. I'm now officially going every two weeks which is crazy because I never got to the every one week point. You go every two weeks from 28 weeks on to 36. And once I turned 36 weeks, Jackson was born in 36 weeks, two days. So this is like getting real. Like baby girl will be here any minute. Um, take that one hour time. Like I like was talking to the doctors. I was doing all that stuff. So I wasn't, I didn't have a lot of downtown, downtime. I did like, update my mom and my husband on what was going on with me. I did feel a little dizzy, like maybe for two minutes, just kind of like super tired or whatever, but I totally, I feel fine. I feel like I definitely am one of the people who drink and eat too much sugar. Fingers crossed, I find out tomorrow if I have diabetes or not. It is currently like 3.05. I'm headed to Chick-fil-A for early dinner. I'm gonna just get my whole thing in a milkshake. I know a milkshake seems crazy after you drink that much sugar, but I'm not feeling bad and I've been like wanting it. I've been like eyeing Jackson's breakfast muffins and all like the candies and sweets and stuff. So I just want it. Even after having that drink, like I have water here, but I still want my Chick-fil-A. So that is what I'm doing. I'm gonna head home, let my mom go home and then probably just make Jackson some dinner. He'll probably have some frozen chicken nuggets tonight. But we found some veggie tots with cauliflower and sweet potatoes in it. So I'm gonna try that. He thinks they're tater tots. They are, but with vegetables. So I will keep you guys updated on how he likes that. But 
plan on keeping it chill. Happy that appointment's done now every two weeks. Here we go. So with the help of Jackson, we did a little bit more. So more bibs. And here are changing pad covers. I'll put the munchkin liners in there. We finished up this second drawer with newborn outfit, zero to three PJs, and then swim. It's like zero to six. And then this one we finished too. So zero to three months, three to six month PJs, and three to six month outfits. And then in her bookshelf, I have extra small to small medium swaddles. There's a little blanket in there. And then I'm starting to change over these. So this is medium large swaddles, crib sheets, and then I have 12 months in here. Six to nine months is already ready to go too. So starting to clear out all this. Got this bin down, so I'll start washing and figuring out what all this stuff is pretty soon. So uh, Jackson is now in the bathtub. We finished dinner time. Did have a little bit of leftover pasta salad from the other night, but it is a no nap day, so bedtime is right around the corner. Hubby's actually headed home soon, so I do plan on probably just hanging out with him tonight and crashing, going to bed early, honestly, but I have a ton of laundry, so maybe I'll fold if he has to work tonight. We'll see, but TV, folding, and nap, like not nap, bedtime. Jackson calls it nap time at night, too. It is a lot later now, and I'm actually just doing laundry. Folded a lot of Jackson's. Have another bin to do, but I'm going to update you guys. I did get my test results back. Good news, I do not have gestational diabetes. Bad news is I'm a little anemic, so I actually need to work on consuming and intaking more iron. So... Yeah, I gotta eat more eggs, beans, nuts, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be working on that here very soon. I just had like a nut bar, but it was like 6% iron. So I'll definitely be eating eggs a lot in the morning, trying to kind of do maybe more smoothies or something like that, but gotta keep working on that. But no diabetes, which is good, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to just finish up this laundry, take a shower, and go to bed. It's been a day. I've been working a lot in Maddie's room, so I'm really excited doing laundry, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it